Hello, everyone. My name is Jeremy Christiansen, and I'm working as a product management intern on the indexing team at FamilySearch. Today, we're going to be talking about some tips and tricks for transcribing or indexing records from your home country. First thing that we're going to take a look at is this indexing tab at the top of the page. As I select the indexing tab, you can see that there are multiple pages related to indexing. This is a good place to navigate to those different pages. I'm going to go into the overview page here. Here we can uh, look at learning more about indexing. Um, down here, find a project that allows us to search for projects based on region and country. And below that, you can try uh, indexing out. This is a guided tour that you can do that teaches you how to index um, for, for beginners. Let's focus on the Find a Project page. I'm going to go into the Find a Project page here. Now that we're in Find a Project, you can see that we are given a map of the world here. And we can click on different regions. Some regions have multiple countries within them. Um, and you can click on those countries. You won't always see a project with each country. Some projects are restricted to people within a country only. I'm going to back out of here and I'm going to go to the United States. That's where I'm located currently. And if I go into here, I can see um, a couple of projects listed. Um, this is one place to look for projects. Another way to uh, look for projects by, by country or language is in this projects tab. Here you can see different projects that are listed alphabetically. And down here you can see the language of the project and the name of the project. So I could go to M and look at the, um, here's a Mexico project. It looks like it is in Spanish under M. So that's another way to look at projects is, is through the alphabetical order on this projects tab. I'm gonna go back to the countries tab. Um, so these are two different ways that we can um, filter projects. The best way to find projects um, is by going to the web indexing page. So web, web indexing, we can get there by this tab up here. This is a menu that we get if we're already on an indexing uh, page. So we can go to web indexing here, or you can get to it from the drop down here and go into web indexing. So I'm gonna go into web indexing here. Here on the web indexing page, you can see a few different panels that tell us different things. Think of this almost as your home base. This is where you find all of the information about um, what you're working on. So these are batches that I currently have checked out. Over here, you can see some statistics to show my totals of batches that I've completed. And down here, as you complete batches, you'll see this line rise to show you what you've completed over a period of time. Up here on the My Batches portion here, you can see that I've, I've checked out these different batches to work on. Um, just as a reminder, a batch is a small piece of a project. So when they create a project, they slice the project up into little parts that people can check out and work on, and those are called batches. Now let's take a look at find batches. This is the best place to search for projects and, and filter for projects. Um, so here you can see that these are the projects listed for me for my current settings and my current location. Um, you can search for projects by title. Um, this is a good place to maybe enter in a country if you're looking for a, a project within a specific country. You can also filter by difficulty level or by language. So for example, let's go and look at Spanish projects. Let's see here, Spanish. So now I'm only seeing projects available to me in Spanish. Um, you can see here's one in Peru, here's one in Argentina. Now let's pretend that I wanted to um, find a project that's in Mexico. Let's see if there's any Mexico projects in Spanish. Now I'm seeing projects that are in Mexico, um, from Mexico and in Spanish language. You can also filter by difficulty level. Say I want to just see projects that were intermediate level. You can also filter that way. Now that we've talked about how to um, filter through projects based on um, the name of the project or the country that the project is from, and also by difficulty level and language. We're gonna, I wanna talk about some tips and tricks that are useful while you're actually indexing. So I'm gonna reset the filters here and check out a batch. As you can see, I have the option to index and review um, some, a batch from some of these projects. Reviewing is just like it sounds. You're actually looking at records that have already been indexed and making sure that they were indexed correctly. You can get the reviewing 
uh, option after you have indexed a thousand records. So that's something to look forward to. So I'm going to check out a batch here. As you check out a batch, oftentimes there are notes that pop up. These are important to read so that you, they often have import, important information on how to index the record correctly. Um, I'm going to choose OK. And it's asking me if these records should be indexed. And it looks like they have information on them that could be recorded. So I'm going to choose Yes as I go through these. The first thing that I want to point out to you is the field help. So each of these fields, as you're in the field, you'll see this little question mark icon here. As you click this, this will give you specific instructions on how to accurately record information in the field. This is something that you want to check out on every field as you start to index a batch. This has vital information for you to index accurately. The second thing that I want to share with you is the project instructions. So up here, this icon will bring up the project instructions. This is your um, basically your instruction manual to complete this this batch and this is something that I usually keep open while I'm indexing just so I can reference it often. This will have specific information on to help you understand the document, what you're indexing, and how to index it correctly. You can move this around the screen or resize it. Like I said, I usually kind of keep it small off in the corner so I can reference it as I index. The last thing that I want to show you is um, how to share a batch. So up here, this icon, you can click on this icon and you can copy this information down. This copies um, a batch link that you can send to someone. And you can send the batch to someone and they can actually open the batch and look at it with you. So they cannot edit the batch since you already have it checked out. But they can help you read information and maybe give you uh, um, a little bit of support help. So if I couldn't read this name, maybe I could send it to a friend who indexes and they could help me decipher this handwriting. Um, another way to do it, so you can use do it, access that from this icon, or you could just copy the URL and send it to someone. So those are a few little tricks that I just wanted to share with you while you're indexing. Thanks for joining us today and hope you continue to have a good experience at this year's Roots Tech. Have a good one. See ya.